Hello to each and every one of you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope everybody is fine and well, having a great day. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at these headphones. These are the One Audio A10 noise cancelling headphones. I got these from Amazon, they cost around 80 pounds in the UK at the time of recording. I'm not linked to or sponsored by One Audio in any way, just my experience and personal opinion. So let's jump straight into the unboxing and testing. So this is the One Audio and they are active noise cancelling hybrid headphones A10 model and they have the high res audio certification. The box is well presented and premium feeling. We've got a couple of logos and the power of music written around the sides. Looks good. Let's get my knife and get this plastic off. Like I said, it feels like premium packing. It's nicely presented. That's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting the clamshell case. I do like that. That's a nice surprise, that is. I'm very impressed with that. And it's a hard case as well with the zip, so that's good. You're greeted with a quick start guide. I don't think we're going to need this, but you've got it just in case. We've got an elastic strap holding our headphones in place, which is nice to see. And I can see we've got a few cables there, but we'll look at the headphones first. They've got a little weight to them and definitely have a premium feel. Wow, I'm actually very impressed. They look very, very nice. They also feel like you're handling a premium item for sure. The flex is very nice. I'm guessing they're reinforced. Yeah, we've got steel bands on either side. And each of the ear cups just click and lock into place there. The steel headband feels very nice. They feel very rigid. There's nothing worse than a loose headband that keeps sliding down when you least expect it to. Or when you pick the headset up, they just automatically slide down because they're too loose. I like it when they're firm like this. They're actually very good. One of the better headbands that I've seen recently for sure. Same for the ear cups, the hinges are very solid. They've got a good range of motion. The swivel and tilt is both for added comfort. They also fold away so they go in the case nice and easy. The hinges are also reinforced with metal latches, but I could see this being a weak point over time. We have the One Audio printed logo across the top of the headband, and then on the inside we've got a section which is really soft and spongy. Their clamping pressure and flex should be just about perfect. They're clearly marked left and right on the insides of the ear cups. The headphones tilt completely so you can place them flat down on your desk like so. I really like this design, they've got a futuristic look to them, kind of mixture of metal and plastic with a really nice metallic blue, silver and black finish. We've also got the logo in the middle of each of the ear cups and we've got a few controls on each side as well. On the right hand side we've got the power button and a tiny little indicator light, volume up and the volume down. We've also got a 3.5mm jack. I'm pretty sure that's for a microphone, but we'll check out that in a moment. The hinges are pretty solid. And then if we come over to the other side, we've got the USB Type-C for your charging and wired connection. And then we've also got the noise cancelling button, which is also your active noise cancelling. So there's three modes there, which we'll take a look at shortly. The ear cups are really soft and feel like a good quality. They've got a good high quality finish to them. And everything looks really impressive about these. They do scream a premium product. We also get a couple of cables included, USB type C, and I think it's an aux cable as well. They're not braided, they are just generic plastic cables and they don't seem to be very long either, which is a little unfortunate, but it is a USB type C cable, it is included, that's all you would need for charging. And then you've got the aux cable or the audio cable for wired connections. So let's take them over to the computer and plug them in, see how they sound and see if they function as intended.
they actually sound very impressive all of the tones are there from the lows the mid ranges and the bass it all sounds pretty good as you can see it pauses the video and turns the volume up and down from the up and down volume control and the power button if you hold it for a few seconds it will skip the track with the volume turned up loud they also sound very good no distortion or unwanted sounds let's try with a wired connection then this is the 3.5 millimeter jack unfortunately when you plug the 3.5 mil jack in it automatically switches the headphones off so you do lose the active noise cancelling function that is a shame unfortunate but you can work around that by just making sure you've got your headphones fully charged if you do want to always use the active noise cancelling so you would have to use these with the bluetooth connection to get full use of the anc mode the cable is also very short so your range of movement while you're on a wired connection may be limited. We've got three modes to choose from when using the ANC. There is transparency mode which means for your safety when you're walking down the street etc. You'll still be able to hear vehicles and alarms and buses and things like that. It's obviously handy for your safety. Then the active noise cancelling will cancel out any of those sounds if you just want to listen to your music for if you're sat at home or sat on a bus or in a corner somewhere. Then finally you've got your basic mode which is the ANC off altogether and that's just plug and play. They sound absolutely fine on basic mode. They sound even better with noise cancelling activated. Controls are simple and user friendly. And I have to say overall I am very pleased with these headphones. Although I do have a few niggles. We'll get into those in just a second. We'll take a look at the pros and cons now. And then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Positives first then. This is a well made pair of headphones with a stylish design. It comes with a hard case and some cables included. It also includes a quick start guide to get you up and running straight away. It's a very diverse unit compatible with PC, Mac, Android and iOS. Although they do have a little bit of weight to them, they come in at 460 grams in the case and just 301 grams on their own. This is still considered lightweight in my opinion. The steel reinforced headbands are also a really nice feature. They're also very firm and secure. The battery is an 800 milliamp hour battery. It doesn't sound too impressive, but it does actually give you 35 hours ANC mode and up to 55 hours as standard and charges within two hours, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. The controls are basic, but really easy and nice and simple to use. You can also control your device from the actual headset. So by holding the power button, this would pause your video. By holding the volume up, this would skip the video. And by pressing up and down, it would turn your volume up and down, which again is all pretty impressive. The ear cups are very comfortable. They are maybe a little shallower than some other headsets. Regardless, they are still very, very comfortable. And for what you get, I think they're very fairly priced. So the negatives then, the cables are not braided and they're also very short. So if you're using it via a wired connection, you are limited with your range of movement, especially on PC or Mac. Another negative, when you plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack, that then switches the headphones off so you no longer have control of the volume up and down from the headset or the ANC mode. Also the USB type C is only to charge. I wish the USB type C was also the audio cable like this edifier model that I have here. And in that case, we would also be able to use the ANC mode, but it's not a deal killer for me. Although for some people that may be a bit of an issue. Overall, I'm going to give these 4 out of 5 stars. I think they're well worth the money. They're slightly cheaper than the Edifier and Sony's in this kind of range. And they sound just as good in my opinion. They're perfect for listening to music at home, on the buses, on trains or on the way to work and things like that. They're absolutely ideal. I also want to just take a second to thank each and every one of you guys for helping us reach our subscriber goal of 100 subscribers 
by Christmas time. You guys absolutely crushed that. We've smashed it out the park. So the new subscriber goal is 150, and I would really appreciate any help getting towards that. As a thank you, here's a picture of one of my dogs, Jackson. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or if you enjoyed any part of it, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on. That way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.